Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. It's time to review the Extreme Night Rackets. First of all, this is just a cosmetic update. It's a new design. It's the same racket that came out in 2020. I'm revisiting the MP and the Tour because those are the models that are available in the night paint job. There's also the Pro and the S. Pro being a bit tighter string pattern, a little bit of a heavier weight than the MP, the S being more of a tweener, easy to use beginner frame. Uh, the extreme rackets are made for top spin players, players who like to get a bit more lift on the ball, either if you hit naturally with a lot of spin, windshield wiper motion, or if you play kind of flat, but you want a little bit more lift on the ball. This is where I fit in. I hit a flatter game, aggressive style game, but I want a bit more lift than I get with my Prestige MP and it's 1820 pattern. So for me, the Tour was the most exciting frame in this review. I reviewed them once before. I did enjoy them. I wasn't completely sold on any of these rackets, but for what they are, I, I felt like they were a nice update, pretty comfortable for what it is, stiff, spin friendly frames. Uh, and I really enjoyed it, but I wasn't really in love with either of them. The extreme rackets come with typical spin technology, meaning spin grommets at the top of the hoop uh, to increase the movement of the main strings. So the strings move more, create more bite on the ball, more action, more RPMs on your shots. That's the idea. They also have a spin shaft, which is engineered to give you a faster swing, more aerodynamic swing when you use the windshield wiper motion, which is kind of the modern way of playing tennis you play with more top spin you want to have more control using spin and faster swing speeds that's the idea uh, pros that use these rackets uh, the tour is quite popular among high level players and some pros actually use this model with modifications of course that all pros use Lorenzo Musetti the flashy Italian with a nice one-handed backhand uses the extreme tour same with Juan Manuel Ferrandolo, solid clay court player from Argentina. They both use the Extreme Tour. John Leonard Struff actually switched, actually moved from the Pure Drive to the Extreme Pro. So there are players that actually use these retail molds, but in a pro stock configuration, of course. So uh, these frames have become popular. The Extreme Tour is a new, a new addition to the Extreme line. New racket came out 2020. A lot of players liked it. I wanted to like it a lot back then, but I couldn't quite find the stability I wanted. And now I have improved my game a lot, so I was very curious to see how it would fit my game now after playing a lot more tennis over the last year. Uh, but let's start with the MP. The MP is a tweener frame, 100 square inches, high power level, but not as stiff as the typical competitors, meaning the Pure Arrow, the Wilson Burn, uh, more similar to the Dunlop SX, for example. That's another spin-oriented line. Most manufacturers have a spin line, and this is the spin line for head. Uh, the Extreme Tour, their competitors are the Pure Aero VS, Yonex V Core 98, Clash 98, for example, or the Iga Sviontek Signature. Those are all rackets that are kind of spin friendly, powerful, uh, and in the category of the Extreme Tour. The MP gives you a lot of power, a lot of spin, good forgiveness but the control is a bit lacking. That was the thing that kind of stood out that I feel like the ball could launch on me sometimes. I like to play more aggressive. This is not a frame that they made for me or my game style. This is a frame for you who hit with lots of spin or you have a slower swing speed and just want extra free depth on your shots. So if I slow down and, and try to play more consistent with, with more margins, this frame actually works really well. But if I wanna play my aggressive game, this can become erratic. So. That's the thing with this frame. Uh, it compares really well towards the Pure Arrow, being a bit softer even than the Pure Arrow, more in terms of, uh, of feel to the Dunlop SX line. Uh, so this is an excellent frame for spin-oriented players. It's not gonna give you the control you need if you play with more of a flatter game style, more of an aggressive game style, then I would definitely go for either the Extreme Pro or the Extreme Tour if you want a spin-oriented racket from head. So the Extreme MP, good stick, not for me, a bit too lively, but easier to use than the Tour, easier spin, easier depth, and more power than the Extreme Tour. When you talk about the Tour, this is a control-oriented frame, more for advanced players. You can actually flatten out the shots, get good lift above the net, uh, something I really like. I'm a Prestige MP user, and I felt like this is just helping me a little bit more play better tennis, and that's why it's a likely switch for me, this frame. Felt like I could easily swing out on the one-handed backhand. 
I could play with good confidence, get some good control, good extra spin that I don't get from the Prestige MP that I sometimes clip the net too often with, demands a little bit too much of my game. Uh, while this one actually helps me play a bit better tennis and is uh, not as demanding as the Prestige. I added a little bit of weight at the 12 o'clock to bump up the swing weight closer to 330. My, my zone is around 325 to 330. I ended up at 327 with overgrip strung with 2.5 grams of lead tape at 12 o'clock and that worked really well for my game. No need to customize anymore. Uh, I'm really happy with this frame. Uh, some power but not as much power as the MP of course but enough to be more effective than with uh, more control oriented rackets. Uh, kind of a good competitor now to the Iga Sviontek that I also like so I'm comparing them seeing what I play my best tennis with but I do like the, the softer feel of the Extreme Tour. It's actually quite a plush racket thanks to the thinner beam. Really enjoy the feeling. I feel like I can hit drop shots, volleys um, and a decent serve. It's not the most powerful serve. I get more power from the MP but still good enough with the Extreme Tour. And Matthew, as you can see in the video, also hitting, also enjoy the Extreme Tour a lot. I usually play the Pure Arrow, so, so the Extreme Tour is quite similar. Um, I'd say it's probably a direct competitor to the Pure Arrow, similar aerodynamic frame, not as aerodynamic as the Pure Arrow VS. I played Pure Arrow VS actually. Not as aerodynamic as the Pure Arrow VS, but still a spin oriented racket. Um, and it feels nice actually, it, it feels a bit more flexible, less stiff than the Pure Aero VS for sure. Um, on the forehand I get good pop on it, I like the way it moves through the air. And Jonas has a bit of bit of weight at the head, it makes a slight difference to get more pop on the wall. But um, yeah, it feels nice and stable. And even on the backhand it's nice, I like it a lot, I'm a fan. I played with the, the Extreme before, like tested it, and the night version is the same. Just uh, colored out in black. It's a nice racket. If you're looking for spin, I'd recommend it. The, the string pattern is a bit more open than the Pure OVS 1619 versus 1620. So maybe you get a few more loose balls or the or you might get a couple of flyers. He felt like the Pure Arrow was maybe a bit more aerodynamic but he got a good power and a little bit of a softer feel from the Extreme Tour. So this is a possible switcheroo for me. Might be moving to this frame as my regular frame from the Prestige MP. Uh, has all the things I want in a racket and a bit more power and spin than my racket of choice. Uh, and definitely two thumbs up for the Extreme Tour. It's perhaps the best frame that Head has released in a while. A uh, really uh, interesting new model from Head. The Extreme MP is a bit too much for me of everything. But if you need more help with your depth, with your spin, with everything, check out the MP or the Pro from the Extreme line. Uh, keep in mind that it's only a cosmetic, There's, it's not a new racket, uh, but it's a revisit and I feel like this the Extreme Tour complements my game better this time around than it did when I tried it a year ago or so. That's all for this one. I hope you found it useful. P.S. If you want to support Tennis Nerd, which I'm very happy for, please join patreon.com slash tennis nerd or buy something uh, through my links in the de description below. My affiliates are Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, tennis only, you buy any kind of shoe, string, racket, whatnot. I get a small commission at no cost to you. So big thanks. Same goes for my other affiliates in the description. Uh, so thanks to all of you. I hope you have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.